Now, if you've been using games for a while, playing games, PC games, then you will have heard of Roller Coaster Tycoon. The original came out in 1999, and then it was succeeded by Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 came out in 2004. And Roller Coaster Tycoon was an amazing game, really good. Really made use of the graphics. You could go on roller coasters, you could go on rides, you could create crazy slides, all these things. It was mental, you know, and it harks back to the days of Theme Park, one of the original theme park creators, which came out on Mega Drive, the Jaguar, the PC, Amiga, Atari, and I had it on quite a few of those consoles and machines. I loved Theme Park. I never really got into Roller Coaster Tycoon as much, which I guess kind of gives me a more unique perspective on this. Most people who have reviewed Roller Coaster Tycoon World are avid Roller Coaster Tycoon players, and when you do that, you kind of compare it to your expectations for what you expect a new reboot to be. And I don't think that's a fair way to review games, if I'm honest. I mean, your expe expectations could be massively different from how the game pans out. But, uh, you know, I'm sure if you've seen the reviews for this game, you've seen it's been panned quite badly. And uh, it's, it's not really fair. I mean, it's an early access game, all right? And it boils my piss when people play early access games and then write reviews about the amount of bugs in the game and things which they don't like, which you know, are most likely going to change. Early access is beta. Sometimes it's even alpha. Like like Prison Architect. I had that early access years ago. And it's evolved over time. It's good to see it evolve. And people who download the game with expectations may jump on and they're like, oh man, this is terrible. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. It's fucking early access. Give it some time, you know, and stop basing your views on what you expect the game to be. Just play it and enjoy it. That's what games are for. Just to, And you can get enjoyment from so many games if you uphold your critical views. Some people are fairer. Some people have uh, put on the comments stuff like, oh, you know, it's early access and I don't expect it to be spot on. But then I don't expect to pay full price either. Well, of course you're going to pay full price for an early access game. That's how the industry works. Otherwise, you're getting a game early and then when it's finished, you still have the game and you got it at a discounted price. The people who are most likely to buy early access are the people who are most likely to pay full price because they anticipate the game and they want it. You know, I mean, early access is a quite a good tool. It's quite a good tool for allowing developers to get their games tested, but I suppose you have to weigh it up. They have to weigh it up whether they're happy to release their games and face this swamp of abuse they might get just to get some extra cash and to get some, you know, free beta testing, paid for beta testing, or whether, they, you know, they're going to wait to release it and have more secretive alpha and beta testing behind the scenes and not get any funds to help their development. So they, I guess they have to weigh it up. But this is going to be me looking at Roller Coaster Tycoon World after that little rant because, you know, I, I like these games. I like to have fun with them and find out. It's just fun, isn't it? Just managing something in this digital form. So, let's get involved with that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I play a game... It takes me about 10 minutes to work out whether I'm going to like a game. And I've played this game for about 10 minutes. I've set this up so far. And I quite like it. It offers what you expect a game of this type to offer you. We've got uh, rides here. We've got this small park area here. But you can expand it out to all these different areas once you, once you start to expand, essentially. And at the moment, I've just started playing. I have to get my park rating up to 500. So... I can whack some rides about. And you know, you gotta think, Theme Park was immense amounts of fun. And you couldn't do a hell of a lot with Theme Park. It was quite limited, you know, it's much more limited than this, but I, I loved it. So, you know, you have to kind of 
factor this into consideration? Why was a game which was amazing then not a good game now? Just because, you know, expectations have changed. Just let yourself have fun with it, for God's sake. Yeah, so you have to build queues on these rides like you did with Theme Park. And where's the queue? There we go. Slap a queue there. And you can see we can you can create paths all over the place. You can create a zigzag paths. There's no there is a grid you can snap to, but you don't have to. You can kind of create things wherever you want. I haven't I mean I haven't been playing it for long, but I haven't run into any bugs yet. You know, if I was running into bugs already, I might be a bit worried, but yeah, I'm not. So it seems a okay. I got this game off G2A actually. This is the deluxe edition, which is about 45 quid on Steam. I got it for £15 off G2A.com. There's a link below if you want to do the same. The prices vary on there, but you get a Steam key. And why wouldn't you? You then redeem the Steam key on Steam, and you've got exactly the same game, which you'd pay three times more for on Steam itself. Okay, what have we got? This isn't running at HD resolution, by the way. This is running at slightly knockdown resolution because my laptop is a couple of years old. It might not like it. Fun slide, look at that. Wow, it's like the rides you get on the end of piers. I love it. Okay, you can spin the world like this using E and Q. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can zoom right down as well like this. And you get a kind of blurred look like this, which helps with graphics, of course. And the people kind of disappear unless you zoom right in. But, you know, we've got all these individual types you can click on. There's Sebastian X. You can find out what they're doing, just like you could with Theme Park. I'm going to be doing that quite a lot in this video, comparing it to Theme Park rather than Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, because, like I said, I didn't play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 an excessive amount. And this isn't really... It's not a review. This is just me looking and playing the game quickly, just to find out what is going on. And whether I like it. And like I say, I do quite like it. Just the, ability, just the ability to manage and create things like this. It's just entertaining in itself. You don't really need to do a lot. You know, I probably wouldn't pay 30 quid for it. I wouldn't pay £45 for the deluxe edition. But if you can get it cheaper somewhere else, all for it. I noticed uh, there was someone who reviewed this. I watched on YouTube the other day. He was a bit upset that you couldn't create, like little areas and put park benches everywhere and stuff in the middle and create plazas they were pre-configured but then they are on lots of games like this even uh, Planet Coaster and incidentally Planet Coaster the people who made Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 are the people who are making Planet Coaster this game is made by completely different studios it's been taken over and it's not really related at all other than in name but then that is what happens with licensing and the like I'm gonna put this here because then people from the car park can see it, and they'll be mightily impressed. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think you can move the entrances, though, which is a bit irritating. You could do that on Theme Park. Again, that game was ancient. You can't seem to do it on this, but it's something you get used to. Like I say, you know, that's my expectations, like you do if you play Roller Coaster Tycoon in the original. If I hadn't ever pl ever played these games before, my expectations wouldn't be that you can play move the e the entrance and exits. So I wouldn't be whinging about it now, like some whinging little schoolboy. Right, there we go. And then you click on the ride. No, go away. Click on the ride to open it. Right, let's get rid of this. Click on the ride. Open. You can change the admission price. You've got details here. We've got maintenance cycles. Finances, customization, and music. Let's play some goddamn music with this one. Let's have some adventure music. Damn right. I mean, you can test it and see what's going on. Your dark, your park is pretty dark. I think you can actually fix it. Yeah, you can lock it to the daytime if you want. So then you can build everything in the daytime, and you can also go on the ride, or you can view the ride from different cameras, like so. The ride is not in operation at the moment, so I can't... Oh, here's some people. Come and try my new ride, bitches. See what you think. What are you doing here in the middle of the night anyway? 
But one thing which I find always amusing is, is the days go so quick on the on these get simulations. Look, April the fifth, and it, it takes a day for that person to walk from there to there. I know this is a simulation, but it's just you know, it's not realistic in every sense of the word, of course. In fact, this is a more realistic simulation from Roller Coaster Tycoon, and oh, and the graphics are. Not very roller coaster tycoon like. If you look at Planet Coaster, you can see that the the people on Planet Coaster are much more like you find on Roller Coaster Tycoon than this game. Let's see if we can get a look at these people's faces. See, these people look more more sort of normal, less cartoony than Planet Coaster, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hello. Look at those mountains in the background. They are nice. I'm liking that adventure music. That has put a real nice touch onto this ride. Just the sort of adventure type music I was hoping for. I'll tell you what. I could do with some shops. Why can't I get some shops? Objectives. Okay, have I got to reach... I need 300 people in my park. I'm 97% there. You see, this is the... I'm still on the tutorial stage at the moment. So, you know, I, if you want a review, this is in no way a review. You ca I cannot give you a review at this stage. This is just me playing the game, having a moan, and enjoying it. I do reviews, but they're about games which are long gone in the past. Whoa, that takes up a hell of a lot of space. Let's get some sort of path situation going. The frame rate might be a bit low on this, the way you're watching it, because, you know, like I said, my machine isn't superb. And it's only capturing it at about 15 frames per second at the moment, which is disappointing. But we can't have everything we dream for in life, can we? Sometimes we have to sacrifice frame speed for something else. Money, normally. Right. Open this one pound fifty. We need to put that up. Look at the size of that ride. That's going to use loads of electricity. Absolutely loads. Okay, what's my objectives looking like? 98% to 300 people in my park. Come on, look at the rides here. I know there's no shop. I'm, well, I'm going to fix the time to dusk. I like my dusky time. And I'm going... To, why can't I get some shops? Why have I lost $136 this month? I don't know anything. I've got 299 people. The Helter Skelter has broken down. Oh my god. The park is very dark. You bought your first thrill flat ride. Space Wars 1 is very popular. Your park has reached $1,000. Wow. This entire park is worth a grand. Jesus Christ, no wonder Michael Jackson struggled with his theme park. Show me, show me how to build a coaster. Thick roller coasters. Then click the coaster you want. Coaster builder. Fuck, I haven't got enough room for a roller coaster. It's going to be the smallest roller coaster in existence. Well, this is quite fun, isn't it? Move that round. Now what? Oh, this is easy! Curve your speed too fast. I will decide how fast your speed is. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. This is so easy to build a roller coaster. No, it's not too fast. It's a roller coaster. Whoa, let's go over here. That's invalid because it's a bit hilly. Let's just let's let's just let's just go over here and then sp span back. What do you mean you can't auto complete? What the hell is wrong with that? I love it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with right angles in track. You fussy bastards. That's what roller coasters need. 
break neck breaking angles is what it's all about. How okay, how's this looking? Come on, auto complete it. Right, let's trash that last bit. Get rid of that. Get rid of it. Delete that. Delete it. Come on. Select that. Delete it. Auto complete. Cannot auto complete. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh my god. My god. Right, can you auto complete that? There we go. Excellent. No, no, no. I don't care about this. No, yeah, I'll build it how I like exactly. I don't care. Go away. Open it. It is ready for business. Let's test it out. This is going to be the worst roller coaster in the world. Oh, yeah. That car park looks a bit small given the size of my park. I don't think you can make the car parks bigger. That would be a key element for me for this game. No, for me, this is the sort of game you can just grab a coffee with and just play just to pass away the time just to relax just to allow your mind to drift and that is what this game is doing and I am more than happy to pay the 15 quid I paid for it you know what does 15 pounds buy you today 15 pounds you could get entry to somewhere for the day a zoo but I guarantee I'll get more hours of entertainment out of this than I would for that people whinge too much so sick of people whinging. Stop fucking whinging. Alright. How do I get out of this? Alright, how do I get out? Let me out. Oh god, I'm stuck on the bloody theme park. On on the roller coaster. Alright, here we go. It's open, isn't it? Can we open? Okay, it's open. Open. Now we need to put some entrances in. Put an entrance on your roller coaster for you never know. There you go. On we go. A boom, boom, boom. A boom, boom, boom. One thing is, I don't like this park building too much. Mainly because I'm not using it to its full potential. But I'd like, you know, I need you to use, you need to move to this to curve round. It'd be nice if you could just curve it using the same tool. Curve and place and straight in one go. Where's the exit? No. Oh, God, the exit's around there. How am I supposed to. Alright, All right, I can do this. Stay calm. Stay calm, nerd. You can do this. You can build a path under the coaster. Oh, yeah, you are storming it. Look at that. See, at the moment, I haven't really used the curved path features. We've got a lot of. Zigzag path. Here we go. Here's the curved path. Oh, I say. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. Lovely curved path. That's the best goddamn curved path I've ever seen in my life. Over here. Oh, I can't, can I not go over? Why can't? That would be nice if I could go back over that path. See, I'm whinging now, aren't I? That'll do. I don't, that's, oh, that is nice. Let's put a shop there. A shop would be bloody ideal there, wouldn't it? Look at that. Bongo balloons. Oh, yes, Bongo. You're going to sell so many balloons. We need some food. And some pisses. Let's put a jet fuel here. Boom. Let's put a... Pissing cubicle here. Let's put some paths to join them up. Let's have a nice. This is a nice path, isn't it? What do you mean, angle two? Oh, God, I'm on the bendy paths again. There we go. Oh, God. That was delightful. Boom. Boom. It's a very intuitive game. I'm a, I didn't want that to happen, but, you know, it's happened. It's a very intuitive game, actually. It's just so easy to get the hang of. It's put some nice drains on my path there. It does that to separate the paths out. Which I think is quite a nice feature. You know, it adds a bit of... Um, continuance. If that is indeed a word or means anything. Now this is broken down, hasn't it? So let's go and check this out. What has happened over here? 
some sort of horrific accident, I hope. Let's change the inspection interval to never. And then let's play some music on it. Maybe that'll fix it. Western! Health to scale to one is, uh, is surprisingly good value. Yeah, we'll change that. Screw you. How do we fix it then? I don't know how to fix the roller coaster. Maintenance. Alright. How do I... Maybe I need to hire some maintenance people. Where do I find these people? Can I even do that? Modify terrain, park expansion. Uh, this is for buying other bits of land. Delete social hub. Thrill rides, family rides, roller coasters. Modify terrain. Maybe there's some sort of um, ooh little options somewhere. No, not there. Ugh. 499 people in my park. Park rating. They are loving my park. Of course you bloody are. Park operations. Guests in park. Park thoughts. People in my park are free of thoughts. Just the way we like our people. We don't like any um, free thinking around here. Just come in. Buy some shit. Go home. All right. I want to maintain this, but I really don't know how. You think you click on it, and it was me saying this was an intuitive game. How wrong I was. Right, let's stop it. Let's go to maintenance. Well, this is going to annoy me somewhat. Game speed, free camera, finances. Notifications. Peeps can't reach Hypercoaster 1. I thought I did that. Check where your mechanics are or consider hiring some new ones. All right, so I need to work out how to hire new mechanics and at the moment I'm doing a terrible job because I don't know how to do that. Park operations. Hmm. Interesting. What's going on with this ride? Is this not going? It's open, isn't it? People are getting bored waiting. Ah, tough shit. This is connected. So what's going on here? This is this is working. It must be working because people are leaving. Stop your whinging game. Stop your whinging. What's going on with this? This is shut. Let's open this. And let's lower the price. Keep the people happy. Um, you're probably shouting at the screen at me now because you know how to hire people and I have no idea. I'm probably looking very foolish, but I don't care. I don't care about how foolish I look. There we go. Must be on here, mustn't it? Stuff! Oh, there we go. Hello. Janitor stool. Let's get the janitors out. Mechanic stool. That is what we need. Right in the middle. Just to give them easy access. And pathwise, we will connect up. We'll give them a nice path. Janitors don't often get nice paths, do they? We'll give them a lovely little one. Okay, number of employees. Let's raise that to two. And let's see if he goes to fix. There he is. Here he comes. Yay! Where is he going? No! 
That one's not even broken down, you dipshit! What, you... There's nothing wrong with that ride! Come to this one! This is fucked! Oh, we got someone else, alright. Good work, mate. You... You need a pay rise. I can't click on you, though, so you'll have to just get on with it. That theme park, that was a great option, wasn't it? You could click on staff and give them individual pay rises. And discriminate to buggery over which members of staff you liked and which ones you didn't like. Half time. Yep. Lovely job. Let's open this place. Boom! Janitor store one. Three janitors. One thing I would like to see is like rubbish on the floor and stuff like that. Theme park had litter being thrown everywhere. It had craziness going on. People could deviate off paths. Well, the staff could, definitely. It'd be nice to... What's she doing? Whoa. You okay? What's wrong with you? Did something happen to you on the, in the, in the theme park? She is tripping her nuts off. So yeah, it would be good to have that. It would be good to... Because people don't always stick to paths, do they? People will wander across here and you develop little grooves where people stray across. That sort of thing would be good. This is all very uniform and... Oh, I want some craziness going on. I want shit dropped everywhere. I want people running about. I want cars in the car park smashing into each other and exploding. I want some real life random shenanigans going on. That would be splendid. But it's not enough to stop me from enjoying this game. You might think at this point, but I'm adamant so much about enjoying this game that I will keep saying I'm going to enjoy this game even though I'm not enjoying this game. But I am, in fact, enjoying this game. It helps that I have a large coffee in front of me. And it is a game that I'll go back to. I'm not sure if it's as good as Planet Coaster because I haven't played Planet Coaster. What I can tell you is, I like this game, but I like Theme Park more. And that might be because Theme Park is a retro game, and any game bef made before the year 1999, I am generally going to favour over any game made since that point, just for nostalgic purposes. Anyway, I think I've played this for enough length of time for you to get an idea about what sort of game it is. And you've probably made no opinion. You've been able to form no opinion over what I've told you. Maybe you have. I don't know. I don't care. I've enjoyed this. I just hope you've enjoyed watching it. Yeah. See you soon. Goodbye.